In this video, I'm going to tell you how to start an online store in six simple steps. The six steps are get a domain name, pick a shopping cart, set up your merchant services, keyword research, SEO, and finally setting up your products. So let's dive into them. The first one and probably one of the easiest ones is getting a domain name. You can get domain names from all kinds of different sites like godaddy.com or namecheap.com. When getting a domain name though, Keep in mind a couple things. This is gonna represent your site and your company. So it should be something that's easy to spell, easy to remember, and a bonus if it contains the keyword that you're trying to target. For instance, if you wanna sell peanut butter on your site, a good name might be peanutbutter.com or even peanutbutterlovers.com because if Google sees that peanut butter is in the title of your domain name, it's more likely to rank you higher up in Google when people are searching for things like peanut butter. But at the same time, you wanna to try to keep your URL, aka your domain name, as short as possible, because it's easier to remember and it seems more professional. When's the last time you went to a domain name that was four or five words combined together? You don't do it. And on top of that, Google is likely to rank domains that are shorter higher up. The next step, and one of the more important steps, is picking a shopping cart. There are a lot of different options out there. You can either get a hosted shopping cart or an unhosted shopping cart. But if you're starting out, I highly recommend getting a hosted shopping cart because then you don't have to deal with the technical side of things and you can focus on working on your store. A couple examples of some hosted carts are Shopify, Volusion, and Big Commerce. If you're just starting out, I highly recommend going with Shopify and you can click here for any of the links. You can get a free 14 day trial with any of these. And on top of that, if you use these links or the links down in the show notes, I get credit for it. So as a thank you for using it, I'll help you set up your online store with a free consultation session. All of them offer a free trial so there's no risk at all. And I have friends that use all of them. I personally am using Volusion, but if I had to start over again, I would definitely go with Shopify. The next step, once you've picked your shopping cart, is to get your merchant services set up. Merchant services process all the credit cards. And if you go with Shopify, you can skip this step. But with all the other ones, you're gonna have to get a separate merchant services so you can process credit card payments. Because at the end of the day, you wanna get paid, obviously. There's lots of different companies that offer merchant services you can go to Volusion or Big Commerce and they have a list of the different merchant services that you can use with their platform no matter what merchant services you pick also add PayPal as an option for checkout because a lot of people prefer to pay with PayPal and once again you want to make the shopping experience as easy as possible for your customers so if they prefer to pay with PayPal make sure that that's an option that's available on your store the next aspect we're going to talk about is keyword research and this is where it gets exciting let's use my online store for example I sell dance clothing online we had a couple different items and I'm not in the dance world. I know nothing about this. So for instance, this item, do we call it a high waist dance short, a fold over dance short? What should we call it? So lucky for you, Google has the answer. You can use a keyword planner and it'll tell you exactly how many people are searching that key term every month. You can type in multiple options that you're looking to potentially name your product. In my example, we type in both high waist dance shorts and fold over dance shorts and see which one gets more search volume. On top of that, if you scroll down below in the relevant keywords, you can see things that you might not have thought about that Google says, hey, a lot of people are searching for this. Maybe you should name your product that. Even after you figured out how much search volume that keyword has, that's not the end of it. You also wanna see how competitive it is because just because something has a lot of search volume doesn't really mean anything. For instance, I could have called this just a dance short. Well, if I search in Google for dance short, that's an extremely competitive keyword. There's a lot of heavy hitters that are ranking high on that. Chances are I'm never gonna rank for the term dance short. But if I go something more long tail, like high waist dance short, or even better, blue high waist dance short, there's a high likelihood that I could eventually rank number one in Google for that. So that's another takeaway. Not only should you figure out the search volume, you should also figure out how competitive it is and it's better to go long tail, which means multiple words, than it is to go short tail. The next step, once we figured out what keywords we wanna target, is to get our SEO in order. SEO, for those of you that don't know, means search engine optimization, which basically means trying to get higher up in the search results for Google. See, Google isn't great at figuring out what's on a web page. Well, actually, they're pretty good at it now, and they're getting better, but still, they reward people that make their job easier. And there's two main aspects of SEO. When Google's trying to figure out how high it should rank a certain website for a certain search term, it not only figures out what that page is about, but how many links come into it. The first one's called on-page SEO, and you can help Google figure out what your website's about. The second one is called off-page SEO, or link building, but we're not gonna talk about that in this video because that's a little bit more advanced. But on-page SEO is critical when you're first starting out your store. When Google comes to your site, it might not know what it's about, 
But what it'll do is it'll search the text, it'll search the images, it'll search a bunch of different factors and try to figure out what's going on in the site. There's five main areas we're gonna talk about on how you can improve your on-page SEO. The first one is using keywords. Second one is using heading tags. Third one is using meta title and meta description tags. Fourth one is using alt image tags and generally making your images easier for Google to read. And lastly, we'll talk about the structure of your website. But there's way too much information about this topic to cover in this one video. So I made another video just about SEO that you can watch by clicking up here. Finally, the last step to getting your online store ready to go is adding the products. Because if there's no products on the site, obviously there's nothing for people to buy. But let me give you a couple best practices and tips when you're adding your products. A few of the keys for a good product page are a good title for your product, a good description, and good images. Good images are often overlooked, but it's extremely important. There's a few other things, such as potentially doing product videos and a few more, but this topic is way too big to cover in this video. I did a full other video you can watch by going here about this. But the key to a good product page is making the user feel and know what it's gonna be like to own your product. Give them as much information as you can about your product that's gonna help them make the buying decision. That sums up the six major steps that you need to know so you can start your online store today. Don't overthink getting an online store. Just get something up so people can start buying and you can iterate and make the store better every day. The best thing you can do is start today. If you have an idea, go buy a domain name. If you have a domain name, go get a hosted shopping cart. If you have a hosted shopping cart, actually start getting the products up there, getting your merchant services together, and getting it rolling. Once again, if you don't already have an online store but you're looking to get started, use one of the links here or down here to start your free trial of one of the shopping carts. I recommend Shopify. And if you use one of my links up here or down in the show notes below, I get credit for it. So as a thank you, I'll help you set up your store with a free consultation session. So you're officially out of excuses for why you can't start an online store. You know how to get started. In fact, I'll even help you do it. So take action, invest in your idea, and take that next step today. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you click the subscribe button down below because I'm gonna have a lot more great videos on how to build online stores and how to do e-commerce properly. And if you are starting an online store, you can click up here or the link down in the show notes to get my free online store starter pack, which includes checklists for making sure your store is ready to go, as well as marketing ideas and other great tips. It's a whole bundle of things that you get totally for free by clicking up here or down in the show notes.